Removing a background is easy, fun to do, and crucial for a wide variety of projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get it done using Movavi's Pickverse. Let's go. Begin by bringing in your photo. This can be done by either dragging in or using the Browse for Image button right here. Next, click on the checkered icon. You'll find this as the fourth icon down on the right tool column. By clicking, you will now be on the first step of removing the background. Quick note, as you go through this process, keep in mind that by clicking this back arrow here, you can undo any action at any time. Now for step one, there are a few tools to remove your background. The two that I will cover in this video are Auto Select and Brush. Let's start with the Auto Select tool. This works by attempting to find silhouettes of people. So when you want to remove the background around a person, this can be a quick way to get it done. Let's give it a try. Not too bad. As you can see, it has removed most of the background around the person in this image and taken us to step two as well. Before we jump to step two, let's take a quick look at the other foreground selection tool in step one, which is Brush. Unlike the Auto Select tool, the Brush tool can be used to remove background from any object, not just people. It's also my preferred method, because when using the brush tool, you have more control and you can get more detail. To get started, simply click the foreground tool icon. It's the one with the plus symbol. Now use this green foreground brush to manually select the part of the image you would like to keep. Just a rough outline is all that's needed. Once finished, select the background tool icon with the minus symbol. Use this red brush to roughly outline the background that you would like to remove. Again, just a rough sketch. Once completed, your background should automatically be removed. Proceed by clicking Next Step. Now this is step two. Here you will be given some tools to touch up and refine the edges. Right off the bat, you will notice there are two masking brushes. The Object Selection tool on the left is used to touch up any areas that were missed before. The two slider bars below allow for variation in brush size as well as variation in brush softness. Both are great for accuracy and detail. Speaking of detail, by rolling forward the scroll wheel on your computer mouse, or by using the adjustment tool on the bottom left, you can quickly zoom in for a much greater level of accuracy. After all of the foreground touch-ups are complete, proceed by selecting the background removal brush. Once selected, touch up by removing any unwanted background. When you're finished with touch-ups, move on to step three by clicking next step. Now here's your final image. I would suggest always reviewing on a contrasting background. This can help you double check and easily identify any missed spots on your image. If you need to edit the image more, just click this small arrow here to be taken back to step two. If you're content with the way your image turned out, then it's time to select a background. Choose between a color image or just transparent. Lastly, if you'd like to blur or shift edges on your cropped out image, you can do that with the adjustments below. Once you're happy with the look of it, click apply. Located in the top right corner is a floppy disk icon. Click on this to save your image. Now choose a name and your preferred file type. For a transparent background, be sure to choose PNG. Click save and you're finished. And if you want to know how to make a thumbnail in Pickverse, check out this video right here. And thanks for watching.